So it is time for some injury updates. The Packers Friday injury report just dropped. Unfortunately, I'd say it's not the best of news. I'll throw up right here the Packers injury report, as you can see. So David Bottiari was activated off of the PUP list this week. But unfortunately, he is doubtful, did not participate at Packers on Friday, and it sort of seemed that way the past couple of days that David Bottiari was still maybe a little ways off from returning from his injury that he suffered like 10 months ago. So he will not be playing in this game, it seems. He is doubtful, but hopefully in the next few weeks, he will be back, as clearly adding him back will do um, amazing things, I think, for this offensive line that's already, you know, for a majority of the year, been pretty solid overall, even without him there. Then moving on to... Kenny Clark, who has been dealing with a back injury since last game, so he was limited at practice on Friday. He is going to be questionable, so who knows if he will be in there um, because, I mean, clearly he's a big part of this Packers defense, so hopefully against a returning Russell Wilson, hopefully Kenny Clark will be able to return this one. We will see on Sunday. Then we have Ke uh, Dominique Daphne, doubtful, unfortunately, in this one with a hamstring injury. Kinsley Kiki, concussion. Um, he is doubtful as well, so he could be without Kinsley Kiki as well as Kenny Clark, which definitely doesn't help this defensive line, so that is unfortunate as well. And then we have Dennis Kelly, seems fine. Mercedes Lewis seems fine. Dean Lowry, luckily, seems fine, because if we were already without Kenny Clark, potentially, as well as um, Kinsley Kiki, clearly losing you know, Dean Lowry would also be, big de be a big deal um, if he couldn't play, but luckily, he seems good to go. And then Equinemy St. Brown, questionable with an ankle injury. And then Eric Stokes also is questionable after hurting himself in warmups last week. So going against a Seahawks offense that has DK Metcalf as well as Tyler Lockett, hopefully Eric Stokes will be able to go. But even though Eric Stokes missed last week, the Packers defense were still able to somehow um, you know, shut down that Chiefs offense, which just shows, I mean, how good this Packers defense has been time and time again with all of these injuries. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, Luke underscore Beller, um, I put out the news there usually the quickest most times, and I'll update you guys tomorrow on Aaron Rodgers news on there on my Twitter because I won't be, be at uh, in this room at my house where I live tomorrow. So that is all for today. See you later. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.